in a Facebook group. So if you missed it, the API change happened on April 22nd, and I did loads of videos on how to go live with Zoom, how to go live with tools like I'm using right now, like Restream, Be Live, StreamYard, and there were still lots of issues and glitches that people were having, and it was just taking a really long time to actually set it up. So a couple weeks ago, I found a new way to do it that is so easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. You do need to use a third-party tool, and um, uh, the tool that I'm using, I will put on the screen. So this is the easiest way to go live. You can screen share. You can bring up to 10 guests in at a time. And I'm going to walk you through the whole entire thing. Um, also, I will just let you know that I am currently in Hawaii looking at a beautiful sunrise. Or not sunrise, just like view. I'll show it to you at the end. Uh, okay. So the tool that we're going to use is called, mm -hmm, and you can see it on the screen right here. You can get a 30 day free trial of this. If you go to molly.live slash video magic, and I'm going to show you what it does on the back end here. And then I'm going to show you how to connect it to Facebook. The thing that's really cool about this is that what you're actually doing is you're setting up, uh, a, a virtual camera. And so when you go into Facebook, all you have to do is connect this as the camera, and then you'll manage everything through this tool. So this is similar to something like um, Camo or Ecamm. I just really love how easy this tool is and everything that you can do with it. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to give you the, the basics. So uh, what you want to do is use the version of this that you download onto your desktop. You don't do it through the browser. It has to actually be downloaded on your desktop. And the reason that we're using this is because screen sharing straight through Facebook is actually really difficult. You can't toggle back and forth between your face and the screen sharing. And it's, it's like really hard or almost impossible to bring on guests anymore if you're going straight through Facebook. So um, watch what you're going to be able to do here. Just in the bottom left, you're going to click <laughs> I'm like at a hotel. The bottom left, you're going to click add slide. And then you'll be able to choose the slide that you want to use. And so here I can choose like, look, I can go like this and now I've got the whole thing set up. It looks super nice. I can change this and make it like live in Facebook groups. Easy, <laughs> right? That's the title. And then in here, I can actually screen share. So I just go up to screen share. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm actually going to screen share the Facebook platform. So I'm going to go into one of my groups and I'm going to show you how we can set this up inside the group. So let me know if you can hear me, by the way. Also, can you hear me? Um, yeah. So what I'm using is mm -hmm. you can go to molly.live slash video magic and that will get you access to it. So I'm going to go right here. This is a placeholder, right? Um, I could bring media into this from the sidebar, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to screen share. So this was like a template that I used. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to bring up the screen share I'm going to screen share my group. And it's so easy to like super clearly customize this. Whereas in some of the other tools that are like this, I feel that it, um, I don't know, it's just, it's like a little confusing to me because I have so many different scenes with this. The way that you set it up is here on the bottom, you create these little like slides. So here I'm full screen here. I'm screen sharing. Here is another one that I had done earlier. I'm just going to delete that one. Okay. Now I can do a whole training on this later on like how to set it all up, the background, the layout, all of that. I can do a cool pointer. I mean, there's a lot of cool things that I can do. Um, but for today, I'm going to show you how to connect it to Facebook. So this is inside our private community called the AI Content Club, which is really cool. And all I need to do in here is I click as if I'm going to write something. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to click the three little dots and then I'm going to click live video. Now you can do this as an event or you can do it as a regular video, right? And and um, you can see this is like on the left hand side of my screen right now. You can see that is the tool, mm -hmm, which is MMHMM. -M -M. And then uh, on the, the other screen, like where my hands, you can see my hands, that screen, that's straight through uh, Restream. So I'm streaming live with Restream so that I can show you how to stream live with mm -hmm. Okay, so inside here on the Facebook side of things, which I know looks a little crazy because we're seeing like the mm -hmm shared version. <laughs> what you're going to do is actually, let me stop screen sharing it that way. So it's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to remove mm -hmm, 
but know that mm -hmm is running in the background, right? And I'm just going to show you the live producer on Facebook. So this will be a little bit bigger. Okay. So here, looking at the live producer on Facebook, you're going to come in here and click go live. Now you can do this as an event as well. But right now, I'm just going to show you how to do it straight within the, the live producer. The only downfall with this is I believe you can only stream live into one group at a time this way, which is fine. I'm in Hawaii, so the Wi-Fi may not be the greatest at this hotel. Okay, so what we're going to see in here is on the left-hand side, you'll see there's this little checklist. We need to connect the video source, complete the post details, and then we can go live. So to connect the video source, that happens right here in the middle. In all the other training videos that I did, we actually connected a streaming software using the stream key. It works. It's just rather complicated. And honestly, with Zoom, it just keeps erroring. It's like it, it keeps glitching out. So with this, you can actually go live while you're on Zoom by connecting your webcam. So if you go to webcam, my webcam right now, it's selected FaceTime because I'm just like at this hotel, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select mm -hmm instead. And now what it's done is you can see here in the middle, it's brought in the mm -hmm camera. Again, if you want 30 day free trial of this, it's molly.live slash video magic. We'll get that for you. It's super easy because now all I have to do in order to manage what's happening on the Facebook side is I just manage it inside that mm -hmm window that I showed you earlier. So I did the video connection. That took two, literally two seconds. I'm going to go do the post details. And then I'm going to show you something really cool once I actually go live. So I'm going to say testing, live, streaming with mm hmm I'm going to make that the title and the description for right now. Uh, I'm going to do testing group live streaming. So you guys will be able to see the whole thing happen. So now this is checked off. Do you see this on the left? I think the user interface of the backside of this on Facebook is so confusing and like literally stupid. I don't know why you have to bounce back and forth. It makes absolutely no sense, but you'll get it. <laughs> so it's like Alzheimer's prevention, I always say. Okay, so you connect your video source, that has a green check. You complete your post details, that has a green check. The next thing is to go live, but how do you do that? Reminder, you're not going to start screen sharing here because if you screen share here, you lose everything else and it doesn't go back and forth. With this, I'm gonna actually be controlling the stream and where I'm screen sharing via the mm -hmm app. Okay, then you'll see down here, it's going to show me where I'm going live. So I could change it and make it so that I'm posting somewhere else. I'm not going to do that because I want to go live in the content club. That's how I set this up. When do I want to go live? Right now. If I was going to be going live in an event, then I would, I would have set it up as an event or I could change it to schedule it and that would be able to put it in that event format. Okay. You don't have to worry about any of these other things down here. I am just going to tell you one little thing that is super cool, which is this pinned comment. If you're currently watching this video right now on Facebook, you know that underneath my video, it says apply to work with Molly, molly.live slash biz app. I have this turned on. So anytime I go live on Facebook, whether it's from my phone, the computer, restream, mm -hmm, whatever, this is turned on and the pinned comment will be there at the top, which is pretty cool. So if you don't want that to be there, make sure you turn it off. Okay. There's lots of other things we can customize. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to come down to the bottom and we're going to hit go live. Now watch what happens when I go live. Now I'm live in the group. And so what we're controlling here on the screen is actually being done with mm hmm So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to control this with mm hmm if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, other places. Um, on the right-hand side, inside this little live dashboard, this is where you see your comments. So I am going to be managing two screens. One is the mm hmm screen and one is the live dashboard screen. And what's cool is I can set this up within mm -hmm to be able to show the comments on the screen. So I'm actually going to show you how to do that right now because getting other people on camera, screen sharing and showing the comments, those are the three things that people have been really bummed about losing, but this fixes all of it. So watch, I'm going to bring up, if you're watching this in the content club, I'm just using you as an example. You can go watch it on YouTube later. I'm going to screen share the mm -hmm app. <laughs> Right. So you're seeing the mm -hmm app right now on my screen um, if you're watching this on YouTube. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the layout of this so that you can see the comments on the screen as well. 
So watch this magic. Let me get back to where I was. Okay. So I'm going to take this whole live dashboard here and I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to bring this in to here. Now, Charmaine just commented. So this is only pulling the comments from the content club. So Charmaine, if you can do more comments, I would love it because it means that you can actually, I can see your comments on the screen. Again, I didn't announce that I was going live. So if anybody shows up, that's like a bonus, but I can go and I can leave comments here. And when we leave comments here, I'm going to go into the content club. Hold on one second. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. When I go live there and I comment, so see how Charmaine's comments are popping up on the screen now? That's because I'm screen sharing just that there. But what if I wanted to screen share slides and the comments at the same time? Thank you, Charmaine, for participating. <laughs> um, so I see, now you can see the other comments, right? And I don't have to be over watching um, the live stream. I can be here on, mm -hmm, and I can see your comments popping up without having to go back and forth. So Melanie said, I just jumped on what are you using zoom no i'm actually using a tool called mm -hmm, and you can get it by going to molly.live slash where did it go video magic um if you see that on the screen and i'm actually going to um see if i turn my camera off make that full screen you can see that a little bit easier um let me know that you can still hear me i think you can Okay, so what I'm gonna do on the mm -hmm screen is I'm actually going to bring up my slides. So I'm gonna show you, I'm getting ready to speak at this event in, um, in Kauai. I'm gonna show you my slides. Here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna play these slides in a window. And by doing that, I'll be able to select this window as one of the things that I select within mm -hmm. So over here, I'm gonna click screen share, and then I'm gonna select my slides. And now I can have, and remember I could have done this as like a separate thing down here, a separate um, slide down here. So I can have this built out where maybe I delete this title. I can set all of this up ahead of time. I could make this a little bit smaller. Right now, the only thing that's a little weird is like you see that call to action there, but I think that's fine. How cool is this, right? So I can do the whole thing and I don't have to have it where I'm in a bubble. I can change it so that, look, I'm like here, I could be down here underneath, right? There's all kinds of cool things that I can do. But for me, the best thing is, is that now I can show you my slides and all of this is going live into the content club. So um, Charmaine can verify, <laughs> Melanie can verify, they're watching from inside the content club and they're seeing everything that's inside this little, um, like everything inside this little box. They're not seeing all the stuff on the sides, they're seeing everything inside the little box. Pretty cool, right? And then I could like go down here and all of a sudden I'm full screen. And let's say I wanna add a GIF on the screen. I can search for my own GIFs, right? Watch. I could put this on the screen and have it all, whoa, have it all prepared ahead of time and be like, hello. <laughs> and then the final thing that I want to show you is that I can actually invite people to join. So with this invite link, I can have someone else join and I can set them up so they can be right next to me, like with a, um, with a transparent background. So it's like we're both in the same room together. Oh, it's so cool. And it's so easy because I can do it straight as a virtual camera right within the Facebook platform. So I don't have to worry about this, the stream key or any of that weird connection stuff that we've been setting up in the past. Okay, now let me show you. Oh, oh yeah, okay, let me show you. Sorry, I'm like, what am I actually screen sharing? Okay, I'm gonna screen share the Facebook dashboard again on Restream so you guys can see. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then I'll show you how to end it. Okay. So you're going to see this Facebook dashboard. See the Facebook dashboard here. So now this is where I'm seeing like, mm -hmm, and all of that. And yeah, I'm using it as I'm using mm -hmm, as my camera. So Charmaine, if you go on YouTube, you'll be able to see it. Um, 
And you can see down here, like I've got six comments, two views, the comments are coming in over here. And then when I wanna end it, all I have to do is I come down over here and I hit end live video. So again, my camera that's connected is straight through the app that is called Mm-hmm. And um, it makes it super easy because I can go in and for those people who are watching inside the content club, I can bounce around and I can switch my slides. I can bring people on. I can do all kinds of cool things. I can add gifts, all this stuff. And it's all set up ahead of time using the mm -hmm app, which is really cool. And then when I want to end it, all I have to do is just click end live video. So I'm going to end the video on the content club and I'm going to keep going on YouTube and uh, Facebook and X, wherever else, LinkedIn, all those places. Okay, I'm going to hit end live video. Watch, I have to hit, I have to like double confirm. So now at this point, I'm able to see like all these different settings. There's so many different weird settings in here, which you can customize later. But the biggest, most important thing is that it was really, really easy to go live with a third party tool. And now watch. Bring. Now I'm live in the group. Live screen. And so right. what we're controlling here on the screen is if you look, hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah. If you look inside the content club, you can see in the media section, in the videos, right? Bring. The video that I just did. And so now I can do all sorts of things to like organize it inside the group. It brings us, it's like amazing. It works super, super well. Um, it does, no, I'm live. It does look like it's a little bit fuzzy on here on the screen share, but I think that's just because of the Wi-Fi. because I've, um, I've done this in the past. Like I used it a couple, I think it's while I'm live streaming on Restream and going there, it's just like using too much of the computer. But actually, let me just show you. I did this in our new program, Swing Into Social, and this Live is the, the tool group. that I was using. And so, so just to, this will be the last thing I show you. And then I can show you this amazing view if you wanna see that. But if you come in here, you can see, it's not members. Oh my gosh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Sorry. In the guide section, right? I did these, um, this video and I used mm -hmm, for this video. You can see it's super clear. Hello, hello, hello. So in here, it's like, but I can, oh, Charmaine, there you are again. So good. So um, it's like super clear. So I think the only time it's turning out fuzzy is when I have multiple tools that I'm using all at the same time, which is kind of crazy. Okay. Um, so that's that. If you have more questions about it, let me know. If you want a free trial of the content club, just type club below. And if you want to see the view, I can show it to you right now. We do have a whole other playlist on YouTube that walks you through um, everything. Like the, if you want to do it with Zoom, if you want to do it with all these different things. And I'm going to add this to that playlist. So let me show you where that is. If you're on our YouTube channel, The Prepared Performer, go to playlists. And then you'll see here this Facebook group changes 2024. Hey, if you've been hearing that these are all the different ways that you can do this. And so I'll add this one in because it's like really, really easy, easy, easy. You can see comments. You can, um, you know, you can see comments. You can bring guests on. You can screen share. And if you want a 30-day free trial of it, just go to molly.live slash video magic. It's a really cool tool. Okay. Um, amazing. Okay. You want to see the view? It's really awesome. I'll show it to you right now. Ready? Here we go. It's like beautiful. Uh, oh my gosh. Go to my Instagram stories. You'll see it's like really, really magical. Okay. Um, that's all. Thanks. I've been meaning to get this video out for a couple of weeks. And so I had a little bit of a break here. It was either go learn myofascial release or make this video for you. I chose to make this video for you. We've done loads of awesome things here. I'm part of, um, I'm at this event. I'm speaking in about an hour and a half. This is the billion dollar seller summit with Amazon sellers. Uh, Kevin King put it on and it is like so good. This is the second half. It's called level up. The next one they're doing is in Iceland. And if you sell on Amazon, this is the place you need to be. It's like amazing.